Hello wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how the Notify Supervisor drop-down triggers a workflow when yes is selected. So if you're new to if you're new here or haven't seen how I created this application, I highly recommend checking out my previous videos to get a better grasp of what's going on. I'll leave a link in the description below and also I'll have a reference at the end of the video for easy access to it. Before we begin though, um, and divide, dive in, please do me a favor. If you find this video helpful at all, please for, give a thumbs up, share it with your fans, and don't, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Now let's get started. All right, so as you all know, the guard patrol checklist, it's a way for guards who patrol their vicinity to, able, to be able to select where they're at and enter in observations, incidents, and notify their supervisor if needed. So today, I'm going to show you how we trigger the workflow and um, kind of go from there. So let me enter in an example. So I'm going to say no observation. I'm going to say there wasn't any incidents. Now I want you to pay attention to this wasn't there is a single quote there and I put that there on purpose because this will actually break the workflow and I'm going to show you why it does that. So let me put yes and let me click add. All right. So let me go to the workflow, bring that up. Um, so here's our workflow. When an item is created. Um, and if you want to know how we get there, if you click on create, you click on automated cloud flow, and then you just kind of go through these triggers here until you find when an item is created. So if I do a search on SharePoint only, so this is the trigger we're using. So when an item is created, let me go back to my flow. Let me open this up again all right so when an item is created i want to skip these two for now uh, i'll come back to that later uh, we have this supervisor names so what we're doing here is i created a variable and this will my, my supervisor names are in a sharepoint group and you can have multiple names in the group so what I'm going to be doing is capturing how we grab, we're going to be grabbing all the usernames in that group. And this is how we do it. Now, I'm not going to go through this because I created a video on how to do this. I will also leave a link to that as well. Um, but this, these steps here captures all the names in the SharePoint group. And then in, we have this condition here. So if the notify user is equal to yes, so when if that drop down is equal to yes, then we're going to do this. We create this HTTP request to SharePoint, and then we have a supervisor name here. That's who we're sending our email to, and then created by, and then we have the incident. So as you can see, we never got an email. And let me go back here and see what happened and show you guys. As you can see, it failed, and let me click on it. And the reason it failed, it says, not well formatted JSON stream. And it's because, let me open this up. See, my HTTP request failed because of this single quote. So let's go and see how do we deal with that. Um, so I'm gonna, so what I do is, the way to deal with that is, whatever fields you know is going to be you know a possible where you're going to enter in like single quotes you create a variable for it right and the way you do that is you click on this add an action and just type in variable and it is this initialized variable that i'm using that's what this is so i have my var patrol incidents it's a, a type string and then we have this replace so what we're doing let me actually let me delete that just show you how it works so we're going to do use the function replace 
and what we're going to replace we're going to put in our string so this is the incident let me come over here and i'm going to do a comma so we're going to replace wherever we find single quotes now you have to put in four single quotes a single quote and then a backslash don't do a forward slash like that but a backslash and then you add your three single quotes now when you try to add three it's going to give you four so just delete one and so this is how you replace the single quotes with i mean this is how you i'm sorry this is how you escape the single quotes so it doesn't behave like an actual closing in a json um code so update let's come down to our condition and go to our http request we're gonna remove that and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna select our variable var patrol incident all right let's save it and now let's go run this let's do our test let's go get the one that just failed click test and see what happens so test and it says your flow is running and as you can see all green check marks which means it ran successfully so now i just gotta wait for the email to come in and as you can see it escapes the um single quotes now when we get our email you're not gonna see this backslash in there i just heard it come in so let's go see and as you can see there wasn't any incidents see and as you can see that backslash is not there it just escaped the um single quote so that way we don't get that nasty format error so just for a quick rundown just to summarize when the clicker when the user selects a location puts in the observation incident do a yes it triggers the work and you add it triggers a workflow if there is a, 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 a single quote in there i just showed you how to escape that i hope that made sense Please share and like the video. Before I leave though, I wanted to show you something really quick. I want to show you my website. So this is my site. You can come to my site if you really want this application that I just built. I have a package. If you just click on the get started, here it is. And if you get now, it is gonna ask you for your email address and to verify that. But if you do that, um, you see the package is there for you to download. Um, also, I do have some courses coming up. So I have a, um, a multi-stage approval workflow that I'm, gonna, that I'm creating. And then my most popular video on YouTube was an employee onboarding. So I'm kind of redoing that whole thing, kind of, you know, adding in some bells and whistles. So just sign up for my site, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up in this site, to keep you updated so please like the video i hope you like that and thank you you take care bye